The Word for Today, written by Bob and Debbie Gass. Understanding True Holiness Holiness should always be to the Lord. Zechariah 14, 21 Anytime we make it to men, it's wrong and misguided, because it's just pride and pretense. Jesus condemned the Pharisees not for their acts of piety, but because they performed them to impress others. Not only did they live by a long list of religious do's and don'ts, they also kept a scorecard of those who didn't and denounced them for it. Some of us grew up in homes and churches that did this. And when the word holiness is mentioned, we squirm and think of Christians with somber faces and pointed fingers of accusation. That's not Bible holiness, that's legalism. And God hates it and the Bible condemns it. To understand what true holiness is, think of the word contamination. It's one of every hospital's greatest concerns. It's why doctors in an operating room insist that their surgical instruments be constantly sterilized, caps, gowns, and gloves worn, and the environment in the room maintained at a temperature where germs can't live. Are you getting the picture? Adjust your lens a little and you'll see the spiritual application. True holiness does not isolate you from the world. It insulates you from its contaminants. Paul corrected the Corinthian church for their approach to the communion table. You even start eating before everyone gets to the meeting. And some of you go hungry while others get drunk. 1 Corinthians 11, 21. So Paul addresses their spiritual sloppy anything goes attitude. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep, have died. 1 Corinthians eleven thirty. What's the answer? Holiness to the Lord.